What up, y'all? This is Tracy from Nerd Squish, and today we have an unboxing video. So, I am one half of Nerd Squish, uh, the other half being my husband, Matt. Um, eventually, I'd like to get him into some of these videos to help unbox. Um, he's not really a reader, but, you know, I like to include him in everything that I do. So, hopefully, future unboxings and videos of this nature. We can do some things like that. Have them, I don't know, complaining, being crazy in the background, whatever. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get into this box. So this is a subscription, a subscription box um, for books, but the thing that I like about it is most subscription book boxes, book subscription boxes, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're always like YA novels, which isn't really my jam. Um, this one is a lot of horror, sci-fi, thriller, my kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. Oh my God, they gave me paper. It's what I've always wanted. Huh. No, it's not. Should we go books first? Okay, well I should probably explain this a little bit to you. You get two books. You get one newly released and one previously released. Uh, bada boom, bada bang. First book is Bleed by Ed Kurtz. Um, there's the cover for you guys. White cover, we got some like little drippy drippy drippies of the blood, the bleed, the blood bleed. <laughs> um, basic, but Pretty cover, I like it. It's got the little Nocturnal Reader's Box um, logo going on here. Um, so let's see what this is. So since you didn't understand that, <laughs> let me break that down for you. We got this dude moves into a house. And it's old, which, hello people, don't move into old houses, okay? We know that things happen in old houses because them ghosts, they gonna get you, okay? And Ghostbusters, they're not a real thing. You will die, okay? Anyway, um, so yeah, he moves into an old house and he thinks everything's going good. He's got his girlfriend there with him. He's got a new job, like life is good, right? <laughs> it's not. Um, he starts finding blood stains, like just dripping, um, and then eventually it apparently turns into a grotesque muttering creature, as they describe it. Um, so this sounds pretty darn cool. I'm beating up this book. I'm excited about this. This sounds really cool. Okay. Book number two is Come to Dust by Bracken hmm. McLeod. Um, McLeod. Let's go with it. That's what we're going to call it. Again, a very basic um, cover. You know, it's like a wall that's like cracking and rusting and looking real trifling. Huh? Again, we have Nocturnal Reader's Box logo, which is really cool. It's like, these are special. Okay, it's just can't buy this wherever I go. It's special. Um, so what is this one about? Basically, like, Kids, like dead kids, come back to life. Which, I have a fear of children, so like if they're dead children, I'm not gonna sleep when I read this. So another thing in our box. What is this? It looks like a bag. Oh, this isn't a bag. This is a cooking apron. That says, Friends don't let friends eat friends. I feel like that's an important message. This is really cool, by the way, because I'm a messy person in the kitchen and I need this. So obviously somebody ate their friend and their handprint is now on here forever and they're dead. And that's very sad. Next item is... Ha ha ha! 
So as if you couldn't tell from that really obnoxious noise that I just made, <laughs> I'm really excited about this item. It's from one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books. Um, Nosferatu by, favorite book, can't remember the author, what's his name? He's up here. Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Um, it's like a little um, license plate. Christmas Land says Nosferatu. Got a little creepy snowman with the candy cane coming out of his back. Very excited about this. This is legit. This is like seriously one of my favorite things that has ever come out of the subscription box. Okay, next up. Ooh. It is. Y'all, this is a box though. <laughs> The stuff that's going out this box right now is legit. Bottle opener, keychain, taking with you everywhere, in the shape of a shark. But is it just a shark? Is it really that simple? No, you should know that it's not. Flip it around, and it's got a little quote from Jaws. It says, smile, you son of a bitch. This is legit. I love Jaws. This is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Hello, I'm gonna be popping drinks with that. Our pin for this month, which this is like one of my favorite things about this box is that you always get like a really legit enamel pin and I love pins. Um, this one, gonna be real honest with you guys, don't know what this is from. It is a pin with this worm looking thing with teeth. It says Falstaff Island, Troop 52. Um, not sure what this is all about. Mm, gonna check out the card on that one. Uh, it's cool. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, ew! We have something breakable. Why that excites me, I don't know, because I'm probably gonna break it like five minutes after opening it. Opening it, 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 it. Words are hard. Oh god, it's like bubble wrap. Huh. But it's like sticky. Totally from Signs of the Lambs. Awesome. It's like a little glass. I don't know if you want to call it, you know, the alcoholic in me wants to call this a shot glass, but dear Jesus, that's a big shot glass. I don't know. You could use this for whatever you want to use it for. I don't know. It's cute. I like it. That's all that matters. It's got um, our moth guy with a little face on his butt. And it says, a census taker once tried to test me. Um, there is that close-up. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully it's focusing. Um, this is cute. Oh, God. Why did they put stickiness on the other side of this bubble wrap? Because I just want to do this, but I don't want to get caught in it like fly. They're ruining all my bubble wrap dreams. It's very disturbing. The Nocturnal Reader's Box always has a... Print. Oh god, I looked at it before I was done talking and it just amazed and creeped me out at the same time. Okay, let me back up. Roll on. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Nocturnal Reader's Box always comes with a art print. It is, I don't know if it's like supposed to be a specific vampire, but it looks like um, Dracula, or I don't know, just a vampire. He's cool, it's like very uh, dark. Hang in that. Looks like it's by Michael Broom. I love that they send you bookmarks because if there's one thing that I never have, it's bookmarks. I always use like really random things that I've sitting around as like bookmarks, like old band flyers from like my husband's bands because like what else? I'm not going to be one of those monsters that bends down the page of a book because those people should go to jail. But anyway. So, um, they just sent two of the same bookmark. Um, it's got a little eyeball on a fork to go with the theme, The Feast. On the back, it just says, The Feast, The Nocturnal Reader's Box. Here's our card that kind of like explains everything that was in here. So, um, so Come to the Dust by Bracken. McLeod. Still don't know how to say that name. Um, that's our new release. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even think 
about that with the license plate. It says, bike license plate for your Riley Tough Burner. If you've read the book, you'll get that reference. If you didn't read the book, stop watching this video, go pick it up, and don't watch this until you've read it. Rude. Okay, so it says the Silence of the Lambs glass is a mini stemless wine glass. Minus the Chianti. No, literally it says that on the card. That's kind of funny. But the pin, it just says the Troop Inspired Pin. So that cleared up a whole lot of nothing. The art print is by Michael Broom. This one is entitled The Night of the Vampire. You can check out more of his work on Instagram at Michael Broom Art. Um, what? Oh. This card just played me. Like, seriously, just played me. It says, <laughs> lastly, a delicious scratch and sniff bookmark. And my stupid self is about to pick up that bookmark, scratch it, and then I'll sniff it. And then it says, dot, 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 just kidding. That's gross, which is true. I don't really want to know what a eyeball on the end of a fork smells like. Yeah, I want to live my life not knowing that information. So anyway, that is the Nocturnal Reader's Box for the month of July. Um, this has literally, literally been one of my favorite boxes so far. This is my life. This is my life. This is my favorite thing of life. It's my life license plate. I'm excited about that. Um, so anyway, next month theme for August. Yes, August, because like I said, this is July. Huh. How do we, first of all, get to July already? Like, where does the year go? Like, am I that old that it just... It's gone. It's over. Another year. Sadness. Whatever. Anyway, August theme is infested and infected, which sounds awesome by itself. But then I see this picture that's on here, and I'm like, this is gonna be a good box. You guys are real excited about that. It is a person, and they're in like a doorway or a window, and they're reaching out with their like googly claws, and he's got black veins, and he's looking real infested and infected. Excited for that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully I will do more of these unboxing videos or whatever. Just upload more stuff. Cause we suck at this. We have like what, three videos? We're gonna get better though. And then hopefully next time I can get Matt in on this. He just gave me a double thumbs up. So hopefully that means something. Anyway, thanks guys. Hit that subscribe button and have a good day.